Hi guys, today I have something really special, a really beautiful decoration for your home for outside. And this is the solar fiber stake light, absolutely beautiful. You can see it's a little bit flexible, so if there is some wind, it is a little bit shaking, moving, showing some life activity in your yard. But in general, it's very stable, even though these fiber lights are very flexible, so we have an awesome thing. But we have different levels of ending. We have them here on top, we have them on the side, but we have them also a little bit underneath. And this beautiful light is powered with this small solar panel with a battery inside. So it's charging automatically during the day when you have some sunlight. And as soon as it's getting darker, the sensor will realize and start illuminating this light. Comes also with these two metal poles, really solid. And underneath we have this ground stake, very sharp, so you can easily put it into the ground. So we have only four easy parts to assemble, can be done in two minutes or so. Then you put it outside and wait till everything is happening. You don't have to do anything, just put them where you want them and enjoy the show. So I'm going to show you what's in the box, how to assemble and how they are performing outside in real life. And so here we have the box. And here we get the metal poles and the solar lights. They come with this protection which we can remove. Solar panel look really nice. Definitely look waterproof, really shiny, glossy, good quality. And here the button in the back. And here in these boxes we have the optical fiber lights. Nicely protected, beautiful. You can see they come already in this very beautiful shape. And we get even a quick instructions manual which describes everything nicely but I'm going to show you everything anyway. By the way the instructions do not describe how to assemble but how to use it especially where to place it or where not to place it. And so what we have we have three spikes we have three solar panels we have three extensions and we have three of these fiber lights. And so for the assembly we put one of these spikes onto one of these metal poles just push it here on top it's good fit then we connect this pole now with the pole where we have the solar panel so the solar panel sits somehow in the middle yeah, i would say solid connection i had the impression that we could push down the solar panel more than 90 degrees but i can't see that so i wouldn't try this but we have the option to push it up so we have a 90 degrees angle so what i would recommend here is not to put this to the south but actually to the north so when it's in the north we still have the solar panel facing to the south what's also nice here that we have a screw here so if you have the impression that this joint is getting a little bit loose or so you can tighten that again and on top you have to add the fiber lights and this is not just by pushing in but it has actually a thread so we are screwing this in till we don't see any gap anymore and it has a really nice hold what's good is that between here and here there is no electricity anymore it's just an optical thing so the whole electricity sits just here. This is of course minimizing any risk of damage and increasing the lifetime. I love it. And so when we want to use it, we push the switch to this position. And at the moment, of course, we can't see anything because even though I have reduced the light inside, it's still too bright. So it's not turning on. It's not wasting any energy. That's good. But as soon as we cover the top here, you can see it starts illuminating really nicely. Yeah, put this a little bit to the side so you can see everything that looks really, really awesome. You can see the different colors. You can see some light here inside because there are some endings. The light is actually just emitted where we have the endings and most of the endings we have here on top and on the side hanging down here a little bit so this is absolutely awesome and as beautiful as it gets i love this so i put these lights outside leave them there for a while and then show you 
how they are performing outside. And so I've placed these beautiful lights outside. It was really easy to put them there. And this is how beautiful they look during the night. It's absolutely fantastic. So I didn't have to do anything, just left them on. And as soon as it was getting dark, they started to illuminating and they are changing really nicely the color. I mean, they are definitely not floodlights. They are not illuminating the area, but they are making the area much more beautiful and they work really reliable. We had now two strong thunderstorms since I've put them outside and it didn't cause any problem at all. They work as normal every day and they work even very long. By the way, here is how they look with a little bit more light. So here you can see the different colors a little bit better. With the video, maybe it looks a little bit too dark, but something really important what I wanted to show you here, I have found some camera footage from a surveillance camera and you can see the light here in the background, 11.30 p.m. Here pretty much midnight and then even beyond midnight, two o'clock in the morning. They are a little bit hidden behind another light, but you can still see the purple here. Now four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning and now quarter past six and you can see it gets a little bit brighter already and the lights are still going strong. Here you can see it yellowish, here you can see purple, pretty much same time again, 6.25 and then 6.34 and you can see they have turned off and now are starting to collect the solar light and turn them into electricity to use for the next night. And so this has been going on night after night after night. So I can definitely confirm that they are really good quality. The solar panel and the battery powerful enough for these lights to illuminate the whole night. And so I would say at least at the moment they are working really nice. They have been water proof tested, heat tested, humidity tested, everything what we can expect in July in Florida. And the solar panel and the battery seems to be powerful enough to power these lights the whole night. But one thing again regarding the solar panels, I've been talking to the seller, uh, if there is an option to turn it down a little bit so we don't have to turn it to the north side and then point it up for example in autumn or winter or whatsoever to get a little bit uh, better performance and they were confirming that they have changed the design so unfortunately the only thing which we can do is to have them straight like 90 degrees exactly what we have here now and so the only way to have better performance when the sun is a little bit lower is to turn it around 180 degrees put it to the north and then lift it up a little bit. I think that's still much better than have it to the south and have it flat at least uh, during autumn, spring and winter. But other than that, they look really good. I mean, what I really like is this metal construction. I mean, mostly metal looks pretty solid. We don't have any electricity up here. So I think they could be waterproof for quite a while. And what I also like is that the solar panel and the battery is straight here. Uh, very thin so it's nicely ventilated this is also what we want to see for better life expectation so i would say yeah why not if you're interested if you like this style then i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time